So guess what just came in the mail this morning? It's our new book, Advanced Taxation, a book that is based on the ICA syllabus for students writing principle of taxation in, le in level two and advanced taxation in level three. I'm very much excited about this book because it is based on the ICAC syllabus, strictly based on the ICAC syllabus and also based on the new laws, the new acts, new regulations that governs taxation in Ghana as required by the revised syllabus of the Institute of Chartered Accountants Ghana. I'm very much excited about this copy uh, that has been released, published in the UK less than a month ago. And, uh, you know, everything about this book is superb. It's going to be assisting you, be your master guide in order for you to prepare well for your examination. And guess what? It is just 120 Ghana cities. And so we are going to be starting delivery immediately for the people who pre-ordered the book because we had a lot of students pre-ordering the book prior to its release due to the pandemic but hey it's now going to be available and so you can call or whatsapp 050 9296 050 and grab your copy of this book because i know that uh it's going to be assisting you if you follow up my work simplicity in detail is something that i do and that is something that is critical and i know this book is going to assist you in order for you to prepare well for your examination now, so somebody may be asking, hey, Shira, what are some of the things you covered? You can see that displayed on your screen, but we covered the Ghana tax system, tax administration in Ghana, fiscal policy, capital allowance, corporate tax liabilities, withholding tax, uh, chargeable income or chargeable gains, the three-tier Ghana national pension scheme, income tax liabilities on natural resources, petroleum operations, mineral and mining operations, standard tax planning, standard tax issues, professional conduct in relation to taxation, and any other thing that you need in order for you to prepare well for your examination. So what are you waiting for? Call the number 050-114-9296 and grab a copy today for your examination. I know this can assist you to prepare well for your examination. See ya. Hi everyone. So welcome to the live stream today. Very much excited for having you on the live stream today. I see some of you guys joining the stream. Welcome. Comment in the chat box any questions that you have for me today. I'm going to be doing um, some special Q&A sessions with you. So whatever questions that you have that you want me to answer, you want me to share my thoughts on, you want me to share uh, something on, you can put it in the chat box and I'm going to be replying to all of your comments and assisting you in order for you to uh, prepare well for the examination. So comment in the chat box any questions you have for me want to share some thoughts uh, really with you and also provide you with some assistance in relation to how you are preparing. Remember that we have less than three weeks to go for the ICA on November 2020 examination. And uh, it's something that is critical in here. I see some of you guys coming on. Nana Fails, you are welcome. You said great on YouTube. You are welcome. Smash the like button when you join the stream. That way we get more engagement on the video. And YouTube and Facebook will be able to push the video so we can reach as many students as possible. And also comment in the chat box any questions that you have for me. It's a Q&A session today. Want to share some thoughts with you and also answer any questions that you might be having as you uh, prepare for your examination. So... You comment in the chat box any questions that you have for me and i'm also going to share some thoughts with you on how you can prepare for the examination all right i'm going to share some thought with you on how you can prepare for the examination so as we have three weeks to go there are a couple of things that you need to take into consideration, a couple of things that you need to look out for. There are key areas that you have to start looking at. There are key concepts that you need to start explaining and getting more understanding in as you uh, prepare yourself for the examination. But the question is also, all right, Inshira, uh, how do I know that I am prepared for the exams? How do I know that I am ready for the exams? 
Now, you know you are ready for the exams if you are ready to work hard in the next three weeks in order for you to pass the examination. So I've had a call with a couple of my students and they are like, yo, Ishira, uh, I'm thinking about it, but in the next three weeks, is it possible that I'm going to make it? And I share my thought with them and say that, hey, if in the next three weeks you will, you will be able to put in the effort, you will be able to really increase the number of hours that you study every time, then and only then you can do something better and position yourself to pass the examination. So these are some of the things that you need to understand in relation to uh, how you are planning, how you are scheduling out, and how you are strategizing yourself to be able to pass the examination. So I see some of you coming on on the stream. Give us a thumbs up on the video when you join and comment in the chat box any questions that you have for me. So you put in the chat box any questions you have for me and give us a thumbs up on the video as well. That way we get more engagement on the video and YouTube and Facebook will be able to push the video so we can reach as many students as possible. So put it in the chat box and comment below with any questions you have. This is a Q&A, so I would want to be taking some questions from you and providing you with some understanding in relation to how you can prepare for the exams and ultimately pass the exams. Right, so I see some comments coming in from Nana Fails. Gonna bring that up in a moment. So comment in the chat box any questions you have for me. All right. So I see some comments coming in. Let's go. Nana Phil said, could you highlight some key areas on financial management, especially uh, the theory areas? All right. Now, when it comes to financial management, uh, it actually spreads across board uh, in financial management. But whether you like it or not, the following topics are going to be present in the exam hall. Number one, there is going to be question on um, uh, business finance. That is uh, dealing with issues about sources of finance as well as cost of capital. Now, when it comes to sources of finance, the short-term sources of finance, the long-term sources of finance, and then dealing with the issue in relation to Islamic finance. That is also one of the critical areas that the examiner can throw something on you, the various types of Islamic finance and how they apply to various organizations. Then also the issue about cost of capital. Because if we look at where we are getting the money from or where are we getting the money from, which is sources of finance, then the next question we need to ask ourselves is what is the cost of that money and that is going to be the cost of capital so cost of capital is also something critical fundamentally that is going to be in, in the exam hall for you calculating the weighted average cost of capital and that is critical now so you realize that the sources of finance are purely theory areas that the examiner will be asking you some questions on then the issue in relation to um, business valuation, there are theories in there and there are calculations also in there. So you want to make sure that you build your knowledge very well on the issue about the uh, business valuation, the various methods of valuation, the asset valuation method, the dividend, the dividend valuation method, the um, um, earnings method, the price earnings ratio, the earnings yield ratio, all of these methods that are theories uh, attached to them. You got to make sure that you understand that very well. Then you go to investment appraisal, a regular area. The examiner is going to bring a calculation question on that. Then also when it is, when he is excited, then he's going to be bringing some theory areas from there also, like the capital budgeting process. Uh, then also the issue in relation to um, the various advantages and disadvantages of the various methods of evaluation. Then the issue about sensitivity analysis. Remember that acquisition and mergers also has some level of uh, theories there that you need to understand in order for you to prepare well for your examination. Then risk management, partly theory, partly calculation, hedging of currencies and the various ways through which uh, an entity can hedge itself against uh, foreign currency risks, like uh, invoicing in home country currency, leading and lagging, money market hedge, forward contract, netting of match, uh, matching uh, uh, revenue with expenditure or receipt with payment. All these are various ways through which 
we can go. So if you ask me about financial management, it is broadly spread across every spectrum of the syllabus. And there is going to be a question coming from each of the sessions. Then you go to the introductory aspect, financial market, capital market, and all those areas. The examiner will be bringing some theory areas from there. The role of the stakeholders uh, uh, also could also be something there. So these are some of the issues and the fails that I can uh, uh, share with you in financial management. Now, I see some of you guys joining. Welcome to the stream. This is a Q&A session. So comment in the chat box any questions you have for me that you would want me to share my thoughts on. And also, most importantly, Give us a thumbs up on the video. That way we get more engagement. And then you can share the video as well with your friends and colleagues so we can get a lot of people watching the stream and together reach a lot of students. Then Hamza Zafar said, how to attempt cost and management accounting questions based on scenario. An examiner wants to give you a tough time. Um, it is not about the examiner giving you a tough time but it's about uh, your ability to work with speed and accuracy in the exam hall. You need to be uh, patient to be able to read through the questions carefully to understand the requirements. Because one of the things about cost and management accounting, and this is also about management accounting in the ICA, in the ICANN, or in the Zambia Institute of Chartered Accountants, or South Africa Institute of Chartered Accountants, any management accounting course, ACCA, F2, F5, the English is going to be critical. So I tell my students this all the time, that if your English is not good, you're going to be screwed in management accounting exams because there will be some a statement in the question that if you take for granted, is going to affect everything else that you are doing. So you want to make sure that you uh, read the scenario very well and understand the requirements of the scenario and be able to fish out the key items in the scenario necessary for you to answer the questions. Sometimes the examiner could be a bit extreme to provide you other irrelevant information based on the requirements of the question that has been given to you. Nonetheless, you got to make sure that you read the entire scenario so you fish out the key items that you need in order for you to answer the question. So Hamza, that is what I would say uh, in relation to that. Michelle Ban said, good evening, Inshira. It's been great watching your lecture videos. God bless you so much. Amen. And God bless you too, Michelle Bans. al Hassan Ali Baba said, good evening, Inshira. Good evening, al Hassan." Uh, Hamza said, and how we can practice well to tackle with financial accounting and reporting questions that are really tough. Now, I don't know what you mean by uh, the questions that are really tough because each of the questions have their own challenges that you need to deal with, that you need to look out for as far as you are solving the question. But what I would say is that you gotta make sure Number one, you understand the fundamental principles. This goes back to my academic success triangle that I have shared uh, with you guys before on the channel. You need to understand the basic concepts there. Then number two, you need to have an examination analysis document. If you are doing ACCA and you are using the uh, ACCA manuals, you realize that as uh, uh, before you get to the page of content or unit of content, uh, you will be getting the examination analysis, which points out the areas that the examiner has been recently asking questions on. So that gives you a clue on the areas that you need to focus on because you're going to learn everything, but it is not everything that the examiner is going to be asking you on. That is why you want to make sure that you understand the examination analysis and find out what are the major highlight areas that I need to focus on. Then number three, so after you understand the principles, spend time to understand the principles, you come to number two, that is the issue in relation to uh, getting the examination analysis. Then you come to number three, that is the issue about solving or practicing a lot of questions. So now you know the areas that the examiner is going to be bringing questions on. Then you practice questions. But one of the things students don't do is practicing questions uh, under time. So you have to put your 
stop clock on and then find out uh what, how many minutes so if it is a three hour exams you you're gonna and you it's 100 marks it means that each minute is uh, each mark is actually 1.8 minutes so as a student you have to be on the lookout for to identify how you will be able to work within the time so if the question you pick is a five marks question, you do 1.8 times five to be able to know how many minutes you are supposed to spend behind that question. Now, immediately your clock, uh, your stop clock goes off, you stop whatever you are doing or you still continue, then you find out how many minutes you spent extra doing that same marks of question. Then as you practice this over and over again, you are able to now be able to shorten the time, shorten the time, shorten the time, and what you build your understanding on what you should expect in the exam or what the examiner uh, the question is likely to be uh, to be, and then that enables you to build your understanding level when it comes to the examination. So Hamza uh, Zafar, that is what I would say when it comes to how you can practice and uh, actually pass the exams in relation to that. Any other questions for me, please? I see some of you guys uh, coming on. We're looking at uh, some Q and A uh sessions real quick and so you when you join the stream you comment in the chat box with your questions i'm going to be answering all of your questions so it's a q a so when you jump off just comment below with your questions let's see if we have some questions coming in Comment in the chat box when you join the stream with your questions. And let me see how I can assist you to uh, solve the issues there. I want to bring up uh, my slide on a note I want to share with you real quick. All right, so I see another comment coming in from uh, Hamza. I see a comment coming in from Kledos. I'm going to bring these. I'm going to bring these up. Coming in from Hamza. So I'm going to bring these comments up and let's see if we can reply to them real quick. Hamza said, How to take decision with deferred tax assets and liability? Um, I don't get your question, Hamza. Can you clarify it? When you say how to take decision with uh, deferred tax assets and liabilities, what do you mean exactly? So um, clarify your question and then let me answer you better. Cleto said, Insura is a blessing to the finance and accounting fraternity. God bless you, bro. I will definitely get in touch with you with uh soon all right yeah Kledos, thank you also for coming up and i hope that you are doing well it's been a while so let's reach out and see what's up so welcome to the live i see some of you guys jumping up there's a q a session so you comment in the chat box any questions you have hamza if you are still watching you can clarify your question for me so i can provide you with a better answer okay a better answer in relation to that so uh, come up and then clarify your questions for me. Now, so like I was saying, we, got, we have three weeks more to go for the ICA uh, November 2020 examination, three weeks practically uh, to go. And a lot of things can go on in the three weeks. Uh, the exams is actually going to be closing uh next week that means registration for exams is going to be ending uh next week friday so next week about this time registration is closed and there is still penalty for regi like late registration but that is going to come at, at a penalty you know that already right so that is going to come at a penalty but you need you need to understand and i keep on telling you this all the time 
Don't just register for the exams with the hope that you will pass, okay? It is not just about hope or being optimistic or trying to say, oh, let me try and see, let me test the waters. No, before you register for the exams, you got to ask yourself, am I prepared to pass these exams? Am I in the position to be able to pass these exams? If I go into these exams today, will I be able to excel in the exams? And you've got to be able to answer that question sincerely. And that is what a lot of you guys don't do because you are not sincere with yourself. I mean, if you cannot be sincere with yourself, then who will you be sincere with? If you are just sitting down on your bed, sitting down behind the decks or on your table, ask yourself, whatever, wherever you are, ask yourself, can I really pass these exams? Am I working enough? Am I in the community that is pushing me enough to be able to actually pass the exams? So don't just be optimistic and then say, oh, uh, by the grace of God, I'll pass. Yeah, the grace of God is there for everybody, but morons cannot benefit from it. All right? So a lot of people are optimistic and then they will answer the question, they will go into the exam more, but they are not ready to put in the work. They are not ready to put in the effort. So before you pull the trigger, now some of you might have registered already, but you've got to now say that, all right, if I have registered, then what do I have to do in order for me to pass the exams? If I have registered, what do I have to do to pass the exams? It means that you've got to double up. Today, I shared a post on my page, uh, and I got a couple of uh, people raising concern about it, people calling me and talking about it, because I was like, when I hear people say, oh, Ishira, I want to really be su become successful, I just laugh. Because you see, nine out of ten of the time, when people say, oh, I want to be successful, they are clueless about what exactly it means to be successful. You see, because talk is cheap, but action is valuable. So if you want to pass these exams, you've got to make sure that you are ready to put in the work. It's not just about saying, yeah, by the grace of God, I'm going to pass the exams. Yeah, I'm going to pass the exam. No, you've got to ask yourself, how much work have I done so far? How much work am I willing to do in the next three weeks to qualify me to pass the examination? This is not staking lottery. This is no lottery that you stake and luck comes in and then you win the lottery and make some money. There's no lottery here. This is an exams and you are marked based on the inputs that you submit in the exam hall. So you've got to make sure that if you've already pulled the trigger, you've already registered for the exams, you have already done whatever it is that you need to do, no problem, no hard feelings. But in the next three weeks, you've got to ask yourself, what am I going to do in order for me to pass the exams? And I know a couple of you will be attending various intervention classes, but you've got to understand that the intervention class is supposed to uh, assist the people who have been studying all those while to take them to the next level. Because nine out of 10, many people attend the intervention class with the notion to go for a miracle pill, but there is no miracle pill for any examination on the planet. Okay, there is no miracle pill. So they are like, yo, this person is doing it, I'm going there. They are like, yo, this person is doing it, I'm going there. No, no. The intervention class is supposed to provide you with that blueprint. But if you don't sit down on your own, sacrifice some sleep, and con if you continue to sleep eight hours in the next three weeks and think that and with your work, your wife, your husband, your children, your family, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, and all of those things, and you continue to sleep eight hours, you're going to screw yourself in the exam hall. You're going to go to the exam hall and you'll be disappointed in the exam hall. And right from there, you know that you have failed and you've wasted money, but you've wasted precious time. So please note, if you have registered for the exams, ask yourself, what exactly am I to do in order for me to pass the exams? I believe that you can pass the exams if the next three weeks you put in the necessary work required. But that is going to be a lot of sacrifice. That is going to require a lot of work. And not everybody will be re willing to do that. Not everybody. Comment in the chat box any questions you have for me real quick. I see some co uh, comments coming up. Roland said, good evening, Shira. Great work. Keep it up. Thank you, Roland. Uh, Hamza said, how to take decision whether the difference is deferred tax asset or liability? Oh, okay. 
The issue about the fair tax IAS 12 is that uh, if the temporary difference is positive, that means that it is a deferred tax li liability. But if the temporary difference is negative, it means it's a deferred tax asset. What does that mean? If the carrying amount of an asset is greater than the tax base of the asset, it results to a temporary taxable difference. If the carrying amount is less than the tax base of the asset, it results to a temporary deductible uh, difference in relation to that. So, Hamza, determining what is how you know if it is a liability of uh, or asset you compare the carrying amount with the tax base if the carrying amount is greater than the tax base you get a positive temporary difference and that leads to a deferred tax liability but if the carrying amount is less than the tax base then that leads to a deductible temporary difference and that is a deferred tax asset in relation to that so that is it so hamza let me know in the comment box if you're good um dominic uh Nkwa said uh, forgive me if i don't mention your name right okay so dominic said i've chosen to study accounting but i don't have the background but i sometimes watch your video which i think is helping me to get a fundamental bit by bit please can you help me systematically uh right you don't need any background i keep on saying this to do accounting okay you don't need to know anything all you have to do is you must get somebody to teach you well okay you must get somebody to teach you well in order to pass the exams this is why i talk about mentorship all right my students i don't see them as just students we finish class that is all no it is a mentorship relationship so i give them assignment you work it if you don't do the assignment i suck you from the class you can go away nobody cares about anything because it is a mentorship thing i get in the idea you don't do what you like to become successful you do what you need to do to become successful. So what I would say is that beyond the video, you have to, since you are asking me how can I help you systematically, you can call or WhatsApp 050-114-9296, 050-114-9296, and probably enroll in one of our courses. That way you'll be able to study directly under my mentorship. Then I can assist you in order for you to prepare well for your examination. So that is what I would say. You don't need any background. You just need to work hard, put in the efforts, put in the sacrifice necessary in order for you to pass the examination or uh, take your life to the next level. So Dominic, let me know. Um, you said, does it, have you already, are you planning to write the exams? When are you planning to write the exams? Maybe you can share your thought with me there in relation to that. Rubin Blonya said, Ishira, I see you. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Longest time. All right. Rubin, I see you too. And I hope to see you shortly in class for our lectures today. Right. So these are the things there. Hamza Zafa, if you are still online, let me know if the, interpret the explanation I gave on the deferred tax asset and liability went down well with you, like you understood it. Let me know in the chat box. And then if you just join the stream also, you can comment in the chat box with any questions uh, you have for me. Uh, that way I will be able to provide you with the assistance you need in order for you to prepare for the exams and most importantly, take your life to the next level. So comment in the chat box if you join the stream with questions on what you want me to share my thoughts on with you. Real quick. Okay, so I see some comments coming in uh, as well from Hamza. Michael Colote Jr. is saying that. Um, is there any strategic case study intervention available? Yes, our executive revision masterclass is starting from next week and uh, we are having about six sessions for uh, strategic case study directly uh, to be able to discuss the pre-scene and break down the pre-scene, look at the various modules we need to look out for, look at the various financial perspective issues that we need to discuss. So yes, there is an intervention class. It is 250 Ghana cities paper you can call or whatsapp 050-114-9296 you can see the number scrolling 
on the screen or below the screen there. So you can pick the number 050-114-9296. So Michael uh, Colate Genia, I don't know if I mentioned your name right. Yes, there is an intervention class. It's our executive revision master class. I don't like to call it an intervention, but it's our executive revision master class. Hamza said, please, if you know about I ICAP, uh, Pakistan paper, CFP, business finance decision, a most difficult paper, explain how to prepare uh, for it. Okay, I don't know about Pakistan, uh, they are paper or they are exams. So Hamza, what I would do is that I will look into it. I will just add it to my uh, notes here. Let me let Siri remind me on that. Okay, so ICAP. Okay, so Hamza, what I will do is that I will look at it uh, for you. Probably Monday on the live stream, I could uh, touch on it. Or you can also WhatsApp me the number scrolling below your screen, 0501149296, or connect with me on Skype. That will be faster because if you WhatsApp us, my executive assistant will be the one to reply you. But on Skype, you can get me directly. So the Skype ID is Premium Educator, and you can get me on Skype as well. Dominic Nkwan said, thanks. But can you mention your details once again, please? Uh, I don't know what you mean by my details, though, but if it is the content, 050-114-9296. Right, so that is the issue there in relation to that. Any other questions for me, please put it in the chat box. Okay. Marie, Marinique, forgive me if I don't mention your name right, okay? Please forgive me. Marinique, uh, okay, let me stay with Marinique because the other name, Akin Wade, Marinique, Akin Wade, I'm just trying to, I think this is Nigeria. Is it Nigeria or Zambia, something like that? <laughs> Forgive me, okay? Marinique. Please, I can CR. Okay, so that is Nigeria. Instead of chartered accountant, Nigeria. Uh, how do I prepare adequately for it? CR, corporate reporting. You got to be strong in the standards. Goes back. Got to be strong in the standards. Be strong in the consolidated financial statement. I've shared, I've shared a couple of thoughts on this. But the uh, corporate reporting in the ICANN, even though I have the syllabus, I've not really gone detailed to look at the scope of the syllabus. So Monique, uh, is it Monique? Monique. <laughs> Forgive me, okay? Monique. So what you can do is that you can hit me up on Skype, uh, Premium Educator, or you can WhatsApp 050-114-9296, 1149296. So send me hi on Skype, Premium Educator. That is my Skype ID. Premium Educator is a one word. Uh, so you can connect with me on Skype. Then I will, because I have the syllabus there, your revised syllabus, I have it. So I will just look at the scope of the syllabus. I need to just be sure that uh, it has some relationship. Then I will provide you with some specific ideas. But I know accounting standards is going to be critical there. So you got to make sure you build your knowledge on that. So you will give me some time to do that. Then you connect with me on Skype. Then I could provide you with some assistance in that case. All right. So Dominic Nkwan said, got it. Thanks. All right. Leslie Osaibons said, how much is the executive revision masterclass? It is 250 Ghana cities per paper. 250 Ghana cities per paper. You can call or WhatsApp 050-114-9296. And the timetable and details will be sent to you on WhatsApp. Then you can register. We are starting on Monday, so it's better you get a timetable as soon as possible so you know how to schedule out. Henry said, Inshira, which topic should we look at in management <laughs> in management accounting? Oh my goodness. Henry, you want to commit me, right? Now, 
I will not mention any topic specific, but when it comes to man accounting, there are areas that the examiner is definitely going to be setting questions on. So you have to be on the lookout for, for that. Short-term decisions, there will be questions on short-term decisions. So you've got to be on the lookout for that. Uh, budgeting and budgetary control, there is going to be a question on that. So you've got to be on the lookout for standard costing and various analysis. There is going to be a question on that. Performance evaluation, there is definitely going to be a question on that. So what I would say to you is uh, this, that you have to just uh, focus on those areas and then you'll be able to pass the exam. Because whether you like it or not, there are questions coming from there. And like I say all the time, with management accounting, if your English is not good, you'll be in trouble. Now, when I say your English is not good, uh, I don't mean grammatically, just grammatically, but your ability to read and understand the question. Comprehension is very critical when it comes to management accounting. So I wouldn't say focus on this topic, focus on this topic. All I would say is, Make sure you surround yourself with everything on the uh, on the paper. But during our executive revision masterclass, certainly I'll be providing our ex examination analysis document to our students. So that will be exclusive to the students who are going to be registering to join our executive revision masterclass in relation to that. Uh, Monique said it's Nigeria. Okay, Monique. Thanks. Th thank you very much, sir. For leases, IFRS 16, do you have any videos on remeasurement of lease liability? Uh, there is a video, we have some videos on leases, but I don't think we have any video on the, on the uh, channel on remeasurement of leases. I don't think we have any video on the channel currently for that. It, it's, part, it, it's part of our paid course. You know, we have the courses available online. So definitely part of our paid course that is there. Hamza said, can you please be available at WhatsApp for some inquiry that requires great explanation to be understood and when? Technically, my time is limited. So sometimes I get a lot of questions sent to me on my DM, on Instagram, on WhatsApp that people would want me to look out for for them. But the thing is that my time is limited. All right. So I may not be able to be available, especially if it is just something normal in relation to that so sometimes if you have a whole question and you want me to solve with you i will not get time because every day my dm is always full and my executive assistant has to reply back and let them know about it why is that because i have paid students people who pay me money to teach them both private and also uh, in class so if I have to give them the time because they've paid me uh, or be with them because they've paid me, then someone else who have not paid me, you realize that limitations will be there. So because my time is limited, I may not be available and I cannot even give you a time. So what I would say is that you can send hi on WhatsApp. If you send it up and I, my executive assistant sees it and then uh, I'm able to look at it and it's forward to me, then probably I'll find out if it is possible, it is something short, I can read and just reply, then I'll do that. But if it is a core question you would want me to solve, then definitely that one, I will not be available for it because of the limitations on my time. Emmanuel Amarco said, how is the executive regime masterclass conducted? I mean, the days of the meeting. Please WhatsApp 050-114-9296, 050-114-9296. 050-114-9296. When you send hi on WhatsApp, you can request for the timetable and look at the timetable. If it is favorable for you, then you can register. It is 250 Ghana cities per paper. So I can't give you the days or the whole timetable here on the stream. So you send hi on WhatsApp and the timetable will be sent to you based on, uh, then you look at it, then you can decide whether you will be able to be part or not. But the good news is that all students registering for our executive regime masterclass are going to be enrolled on our online study portal, which means you get access to all our lecture videos that we have covered in the past 15 weeks. We've been doing this for the past 15 weeks, and you'll be able to get access to all the lecture videos, all my ebooks, my question kits to be able to help you to prepare for the exam. So, our executive regime masterclass is not just 
oh, I am discussing something with Inshira, or I'm just in class. No, you are going to have access to our online study portal, get access to all of the content. That is why if in the next three weeks you can really put in the work, put in the effort, then you'll be able to put, be in a better position to pass the exam. So that is what I would say there in relation to that. Any other questions for me real quick? Any other questions for me? Real quick. Let me know. Any other questions? I see some of you guys joining. Welcome to the stream. Give us a thumbs up on the video when you join. And also comment in the chat box. Let me know uh, what questions you have for me, if you have one. All right, so I see a comment coming in um, from Michael. Please, can you give me your location? Send hi on WhatsApp. All those details will be sent to you on WhatsApp. You send hi on WhatsApp. All those will be sent to you on WhatsApp in relation to that. Note that our on-campus is limited capacity. So it's a limited capacity. So if the uh, number we have on campus that we want to have, it's full, then you are going to be joining via Zoom wherever you are in relation to that. So uh, you send her on WhatsApp and the details or locations of that will also be sent to you. So any other questions for me real quick? Any other questions? So like I said, I wanted to just come in uh, to assist you, provide you with some assistance. Abubakar Sule Wana said, good evening, Nishira. I'm in Kumasi and want to join your online class. How do I start? Abubakar, no problem. Call WhatsApp, send hi on WhatsApp, 050-114-9296. 050-114-9296. You will be able to uh, register, make payment, and then you'll be enrolled on our study portal. You'll be able to also join our Zoom sessions and prepare well for your examination. So you can WhatsApp 050-114-9296. The number is scrolling below the screen. You can pick it up there as well. And then you send hi on WhatsApp. Once you send hi on WhatsApp, we will be able to uh, send you the details then you can register and be part of ours. I mean, if there is some conflict of understanding between you and me, then not about to solve question. Oh, I don't get your statements, though, on that. Maybe it's unsaid, say, the, what? The Siri. Maybe it's what what are you saying? Please retype what you said for me. Ebenezer Sai said, Good evening, said. Hope you are fine. Yeah, Ebenezer, I'm doing well, and I hope you are also doing well. Maybe it's none. Uh retype your comment. I don't know what you were trying to say. Said the SRE. I don't know what R S R E is. So probably you made an error, so you can retype that for me. You can retype that for me. So let's take a, a commercial break. I'll be back in a moment. Hi, everyone. So guess what just came in the mail this morning? It's our new book, Advanced 
Taxation, a book that is based on the ICA syllabus for students writing Principle of Taxation in, in Level 2 and Advanced Taxation in Level 3. I'm very much excited about this book because it is based on the ICAT syllabus, strictly based on the ICAT syllabus, and also based on the new laws, the new acts, new regulations that governs taxation in Ghana as required by the revised syllabus of the Institute of Chartered Accountants Ghana. I'm very much excited about this copy uh, that has been released, published in the UK less than a month ago. And, uh, you know, everything about this book is superb. It's going to be assisting you, be your master guide in order for you to prepare one for your examination. And guess what? It is just 120 Ghana cities. And so we are going to be starting delivery immediately for the people who pre-ordered the book because we had a lot of students pre-ordering the book prior to its release due to the pandemic but hey it's now going to be available and so you can call or whatsapp 050 9296 and grab your copy of this book because i know that uh it's going to be assisting you if you follow up my work simplicity in detail is something that i do and that is something that is critical and i know this book is going to assist you in order for you to prepare well for your examination now, so somebody may be asking, hey, Shira, what are some of the things you covered? You can see that displayed on your screen, but we covered the Ghana tax system, tax administration in Ghana, fiscal policy, capital allowance, corporate tax liabilities, withholding tax, uh, chargeable income or chargeable gains, the three tier. Right, so welcome back. Real quick, so that was just to uh, let you know about our tax book. We still have copies available. I see a comment coming in. Let's take it up. Um, maybe it said the screen is not clear. I can hear your voice, but problem with picture quality. Uh, really, what is wrong with my picture quality? What is going on with my picture quality? Because I'm seeing that I'm trying to see the feed here and it's appearing a clearer here. So I don't know. Probably it could be just some uh, network issues or something like that. But I hope my feed is okay. Right. So um, that is it about that. Uh, in a nutshell, please know that the ICA exams registration is ending uh, next week. And uh, note that the exams, the examiner is going to reward the people who are going to work hard in it. Whatever intervention class or whatever it is you're going to be attending, make sure that you are going there with an open mind and be able to absorb. And But most importantly, you're not going to pass the exams just because you attended an intervention class by anybody or whoever is teaching you with all due respect. Uh, but you're not going to pass the exam just because you attended an intervention class. You need to put your skin in the game. You need to do things that you need to understand. And I tell the students uh, uh, always around me, I said, hey, if you want to pass the exams, you've got to work hard. And uh, my students will tell you, you don't do assignments these days. You are sucked from the class. You're not allowed to join the class. And you can do whatever you want to do. If you think it's your money, you can do whatever you want to do because... It's a work. You need to work to pass the exams. You don't just get up and say, yeah, I've registered for the exams. I've paid my fees, so I'm going to ride for the exam. You don't do that. You don't shrug, walk around with higher shoulders and go into the exam. Or no, you've got to be accountable. You've got to be serious to be able to pass the exam. So that is what I would say. If in the next three weeks, you're going to put in the work, you're going to put in the effort, you're going to put in the sacrifice, I can guarantee you will be a better, you will be in a better position to be able to pass the exams in relation to that. So Kamis Suleiman Juma said, the picture is okay. All right, so I think maybe it's probably could just be a network issue. Uh, Hamza said, my comment starting from me uh, was about your WhatsApp availability, which I commented you earlier. Yep, I said you can send high on WhatsApp uh, in relation to that. That is not an issue I mentioned that to you okay so basically that is it uh just came in here to answer some few questions from you guys and uh i've been able to answer some questions from hamza some questions from uh michelle and other people as well 
And uh, that will be it for this week. Next week will be coming up as we start with our Executive Revision Masterclass. Um, we'll be seeing what we're going to be doing on the channel as well here, if it is possible. But if you can register and you want to be part, you can call 050 114 0501149296. It is 250 Ghana cities per paper. That gives you access to join our executive revision masterclass. You get access to our full lecture videos on our study portal, our ebooks, and most importantly, you'll be able to study directly under my mentorship in the next three weeks as I hold your hand, assist you, and help you to be able to pass the examination. So call or WhatsApp 050 1149296. 050-1149296, and I'll see you in one of our lectures in that case. Michelle, oh, sorry, Michael uh, Colette said, thank you very much, sir. It's always a pleasure. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining the stream. It's always a pleasure. Remember to stay connected on the channel. We will be releasing, uh, I'm planning, the team has told me that they will be uh we will be releasing some videos tomorrow as well as on sunday on the broadcast on the channel so we'll be premiering some videos on the channel at, towards the revision to assist you to prepare well for the exams then i'll come back on monday with you guys as we continue with our discussion now note that nine out of ten of the things you are looking for have already been covered and they are available on the channel all i want you to do is to look at the playlist on the channel if you are watching on Facebook, go to YouTube, my playlist, and then check the, the standards, the financial management, the auditing, the public sector, the taxation. Uh, we've covered it. We have over 450 videos on the channel. So chances are whatever you are looking for has already been covered. Watch the video. And then if you have any questions, you leave a comment. I read all of your comments and I reply to all of your comments personally in relation to that. So thank you very much for joining the stream. It's always a pleasure coming your way. I'll see you same time on Monday as we continue. But remember... Tomorrow and Sunday, we'll be premiering videos on the channel to assist you in order for you to prepare well for your examination. Stay safe, stay blessed, and have a blissful weekend. Bye-bye.